Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. And, as you can see, I am down here again. And, you guys were no help. You betrayed me. You did not answer my question. I figured out why this doesn't work, by the way. It's because I had a block above the plants, and it seems to work now. And, got a little bit of melon already. Uh, pumpkins, I'm still waiting for them to grow. But... Yeah, I've got some stuff done now, and off camera I um, finished the nether wart farm. It still needs nether wart, that's the only problem, but it's more or less finished, and for some reason I'm getting lag. I think it's because right now I am trying a new thing where I'm recording it full size. Like, usually I record it half size with wraps, but I'm trying to record with it full size. I'm not sure what it will do, and grass is still spreading here, and so far I'm just getting a bit of lag. But I've got this pretty much finished. Um, I, I like the way it looks. Don't, don't make me change it. And some storage chests, plus one below here. Uh, this works the same. And I had to like put a repeater back here, and that's why you just saw one of these come out like a tick later. And yeah. That is pretty much it since last episode. Um, ah, it's dark again. Every time I go here and then I come out, it's always dark. I don't know why, but it just is. So weird. It must be some kind of coincidence. But anyways, um, today we're gonna do something. <laughs> I never, I never have a like an actual. P pl I can't speak. I know we have an actual plan, but we'll we'll find something to do. Don't worry, guys. Okay, so I was just looking at uh, the burning time of things, and what I have found... Um, lava buckets smelt for 20,000 ticks. Blocks of, blocks of coal smelt for 16,000 ticks. Blaze rods smelt for 2,400,000 ticks. Coal and charcoal smelt for 16... Hundred ticks, huge mushrooms. Yeah, these mushroom blocks, I guess. Um, apparently, they smelt the same as wood. So I'm just gonna try that real quick. Uh, oh, you can put them in there. That's interesting. I've never seen this done before. So two of these should smelt three of these. And banners smelt with three hundred ticks. They let sensors smelt three hundred ticks. And wooden wooden things smelt for 300 things, so ladders will smelt for 300 ticks, and, uh, yeah, this is working, man. I might need to make a mushroom farm now, because this is easily restocked. Except that you need silk touch. Okay. I'm still interested in the ladders thing. <laughs> this, is, this is getting me now, because, like, I've been trying to figure this out for such a long time, and I can't, because... I, I can't imagine a calculation for it, like, I can't make one, so... Okay, so, I have some wood. It takes four pieces of wood. Well, four and three quarters to make three ladders, which smelt for the same time as three pieces of wood. Okay, it's def it's, you're definitely losing there. I figured it out, guys. Yes! Okay, it says not worth using ladders, but it is worth using these... These mushroom blocks. So... Yeah, I finally figured out my problem. Okay, so, people. Some time now, I have had this idea... Which I don't... Which I can't find, for some reason. Um... Oh, here it is, um, of making an automatic cobble generator. Uh, what I want to do now is make an automatic stone generator, and this actually works pretty well, I think. So let me just destroy all of this and see how it works. Um, might need to boost up. I, d I don't know how to do that. I think it's all broken. It might be. Unless there's like a switch somewhere. Oh, here it is. So that is how you, you make an automatic stone generator. Uh, 
Uh, is that piston supposed to be there? I don't know what I've done. So if I switch this off, so I, don't, so I can like look at what's done or what I've done, um, we can figure this out together probably. Okay. So this works the way it should. And why is there a piece of glass here? I think I placed it there by accident and like forgot. Okay, I think I fixed it. So let's start this back up. Ah, something's broke. Interesting. Why does no go up? Why does that not go up? Oh my god, wow, I'm stupid. That's a sticky piston there. Okay, let's turn this off again. I think I had the glass block there, um, like, as a placeholder. And I forgot all about it. So, got to... Go up by one. Oh, that's why I had glass there. But it's going too fast, so it won't work. Okay, so I figured this out now, like, properly. <laughs> and sorry this is, like, uncut, because I can't be bothered to uncut it. Actually, time set so would be nice. Okay. This should work now. As long as the glass block doesn't, like, go up. Accident. And this should work. The only reason the glass block would go up if there's a jam. So I'm going to see what will happen if it jams. So I'm just going to let this go for a few blocks. And, uh, it's really loud, isn't it? Okay, that's all beautiful good. Uh, come on. Nearly there. Okay, so it's now jammed. So if I break this block, will it fix? Okay, so it looks like it's been fixed. I, I don't know why the glass block decided to go on its own thing, but now I'm going to make a stone generator, which is going to be slightly different and slightly more difficult. Oh, there's so much redstone. I don't. I can't find the right thing. I don't even know what I'm looking for now. Oh, it's somewhere over here. I think that this is the last one I have. Okay, so how does this work? Okay. So the update sensor. How does this work? Yeah, that tells me very little. Okay, I'm kind of scared of the redstone here. There's too much redstone, okay? Um, sideways. Okay. Because I c redstone gets washed away, yeah? But l the only thing I could figure out that doesn't get washed away... Wait, yeah, I, that's a sticky piston. The only thing I could figure out that doesn't get washed away is a sticky piston. So I'm going to make an update sensor real quick here to like actually work this and uh, this should be cool. This just won't work, okay? You cannot make a stone generator. You can only make cobble generators. And I have learned. See? The lava just goes down. Destroys that water. Ah! This won't work. Why you no work? What if I do this?
That just won't work either. I don't know why the lava goes first. Like, it's supposed to be much slower. So, failed. The reason I was trying to make a cobble generator, by the way, is because... Well, the stone generator is because cobble is mined slower than stone with haste. Like, you cannot haste mine cobblestone, and also stone. Like, you can you can haste mine stone, but also... So that I could have a variation if I wanted to, like, have cobblestone or stone, I could just mine that. But anyways, this failed, so... Cobblestone generator is his. Okay, guys, I am back in my world, and of course I said guys again, so... Oh, whatever, I don't care anymore. I am back in my world and I am i don't want to build that cobblestone generator anymore because kind of pointless, but I, I've been thinking about how I can automate my world here. Like, I, I really like automation in Minecraft and of course you can automate everything in mods, but vanilla is way more interesting. And right now I'm halfway through watching a video. Um, it's basically two guys who build a whole survival world and pretty much everything in it is either semi or fully automatic and that's pretty cool but not as cool as what I want and you may have noticed I have planted some of these saplings and I've got some uh, trees growing and why is this so short? like really short and I've got one more somewhere oh there it is and uh, yeah, that's just about it. And I'm gonna go back to watching the video, and I will see what I've come up with. Just gonna take that out of there, and that, the rest can stay. Guys, I have a big problem up here. So, when I went exploring, thousands and thousands of blocks out here, I made the world size really big. And this is giving me a problem. The memory is now way too high, it should be at like 40%, okay? That's a big problem for me, this, right now. And I've been getting these lag spikes, like big lag spikes, where the game just freezes for like 5 seconds. Couldn't figure out why, and look at my memory. Yep, I'm gonna have to do something. I know you can, but I don't know how. Like, I'm gonna need to look at some tutorials or something. But anyways, um, right now I'm trying to find a way of breaking blocks automatically. And one of the ways is, of course, creepers. So I've just been thinking of, like, how close I can get to a creeper. So that it doesn't hurt me, but it can still explode. I've been trying to figure that out for a little bit now. Okay. Uh, I don't know, like, I know it's possible, but will the creeper set off from that far, like, with me just standing there? I guess I have to go into creative again. Big problem. Big, big, big problem. It's not just one world, it's all of them. I don't know what I've done. I honestly don't. I don't know what I can do to fix. It should be, this world should be at 20%. What's going on there? Like, I barely went anywhere in this world. Ah, the lag. Okay, so I just messed around with some launcher settings and I enabled Java arguments, which used to cause me to crash, and I'm just seeing if it will. It didn't cause me to crash in my uh, experiments world, but my memory seems to stay at what it should be. So hopefully it doesn't crash, and my allocated memory is going up, so that's good. Um, it should be at 100% though, which is what's bothering me. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what happened, because last time I saw the world, 
um, with the memory up, it was at 50 to 60% used up, so it should have gone to 90, and yeah, yeah, you might be saying, you've got computer problems again, lol, um, but this is actually something I've not seen before, and yeah, my processor is only 1.6 gigahertz. <laughs> That that might be one of the problems, and uh, just seeing how my memory copes right now, and hopefully I don't crash, because if I crash then this data might actually get some problems, it might get corrupted, that's the only problem with fraps, it corrupts data when you crash. So I'm just going to play around right now uh, for, for a few minutes to see if I crash, and if not then Java, Java arguments have worked, so yay, but no, it's, the memory's still going up, so that's bad. Okay, so, first project, um, first automatic project, by the way, uh, it seems like this has calmed down a little bit and I'm open to land because I was just experimenting with a thing where I was like, using my own username, like, I, I opened this to land and I created another Minecraft, like opened another Minecraft and I was seeing if I could join the world, but I can't because I, because th this, my name is running on this, so that kind of makes sense because then it can like really mess up your whole PC, so that, that's good actually. And yeah, um, gonna make a fully automatic sugar cane farm, and I've got some pistons, and okay, so, it's gonna be here by the way, um, because this, this area needs something, and also, what I thought would be a really cool idea is if I have a path going here, kind of like a staircase, and then goes to the middle here. So, let's make our middle stream of water be here. And what's this? Oh, I remember this, okay. It's when I was trying to find a cave some time ago. Anyways, um... Gonna have sugarcane here, so pistons would go somewhere here. Now I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the budding for this because pistons are so close together. Huh, I missed a bit. Okay, so when a sugarcane grows, one of these pistons would go would uh, extract. So. Just trying to figure out how that would work. Um, this would be a really complicated project if I didn't know how to simplify redstone, which I don't really know. Um, so, let's say I have some torch torches over here. Uh, let me just make some. Okay, so let's say I have a torch here. That's powering this block. So when this piston gets an update, it should... No, of course not. It has been carved from above, I, above, I think. And also, it would have to be something like this. So now this should extract. Yes, but we'll not go back. That, that, that's the only problem so far. Um, so this would have to go off if it extracts, which I cannot do. Which I cannot do. That's as simple as that. Um, huh. So this could be on a clock, but that won't work. Redstone with Doomskull, the biggest fail ever. A bit of thinking and the only way to do it is to have spacings of two uh, for it to work. Can't be spacing of one, but now I have a three by three area technically to work with here, but it's gonna be a three by whatever I need to be back here. So that that's nice, but it's like, there's barely any space here now, so this might not work the way I wanted it to. Oh, yeah, I can do it with pistons. Oh yeah, I can. That's cool. Anyways, back to thinking. 
This is what I have going right now. Apparently this works. Hey, piston translocation is in the game. I thought they took that out. I swear they took that out. Maybe it's because there's a block there. Anyway, this is crazy. Alright, so... Got something done. Now I just need for this to update automatically. Which I don't know how to do. Or do I? Huh. Experiments time. So here's something. I think I figured out why my game was just going down. This allocated thing, I, I, I'm going to need to look back at the video to see what was actually happening, but this allocated thing must have gone down like crazy, because this is what the game allows it to have, but this is what, like, what I allow to have, but this is what the game allows it to have, so this is slowly going up as you play the game, yeah, and so this is slowly going down, so yeah, that, I think that's the problem, but... Yeah, I actually have to work on this now. <sighs> Water plus redstone equals bad. Why didn't I remember that? Why don't I remember that? Luckily, it's only one thing that got destroyed, I think. Please only be one. Okay, it's, it was too bad I can't be bothered to find another dust, unless it's in my inventory now. But, there's only one way I can think of actually doing this properly. So, it will need a block here, definitely. So, let's see what happens here. So if I do that, and then I do this, and then I do this. No, no, no. You stay, little bugger. Alright, so, let's see if this works now. Yes! It works! Now, how big is this? Could I use this with this? Yes, I can. Oh my god, I got this working. It works! Oh my god! Oh, now I have to repeat this like 20 times. And then it's gonna be done, guys. It's more than 20. It's way more than 20. It's too many 20s. But I'm gonna, like... See what happens if I put sugar cane there, so... Get that real quick. Okay, so... This isn't what it's gonna be like, but for now it is. So... Am I that dumb? Am I that dumb? Oh my god, guys. I am that dumb. I built this the wrong way round. Not only that. Oh, but I think I'm running out of time anyway, so... I will see you guys next time, probably. Um, got, just gonna get some TNT and blow myself up real quick. <sighs> okay, people. It is that time to end the episode. And... I don't know if you've noticed, but... I've been recording at full size, so full HD. Um... Before I've been recording at 720p, but I only realised that about now, but I've just started recording at 1080, and this episode is the only one so far, and that's actually like a lot more memory needed to store the video, so... Oh, I'm gonna go back, I think, but the rest of this video is gonna be full HD, and in this episode I kind of failed to automate anything, but we played around with some ideas, and I'm... I'm pretty happy with the outcome because I've learned some stuff, but 
Let's set this off. Fail. <laughs> that was like the worst ever. Work, please. Yeah! Oh, looks like we've already been there. Oh, nice. Starting to open up. Really nice. This is where we've been last episode. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, yeah, off camera I'll probably finish that farm if I figure out how to actually work it properly. Um, and I think I have, so... Yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.